Morning guys, on with the 911 restoration and we're going to talk about the chassis jig this morning. This one's made by Select um, and it's made up of three, well four key components. You've got your main bench which is this red piece here. Then you've got your cross beams that bolt onto the bench. Um, you can move those around depending on what car the, you're trying to mount on the bench. Um, you've got your blue towers. Again, they're universal. You can bolt them where they need to be. And then you've got your red brackets at the top, which are car specific. Um, you can hire these from Select. So if you only want to put a car on one for a few days or a week or so, you can hire them rather than buying the brackets. Or if you're doing the same car time and time again, we do a lot of Porsches, a lot of Minis, um, and we've got E-type brackets as well. So we've got those ready to use. We don't need to hire those. <clears throat> but the whole point of the, the chassis to system is just to make sure that all your mounting points are in the right place. Um, if your suspension mounting points have become damaged or if the car's moved over the years, um, it can be very difficult to set up your wheel alignment or even get your suspension components to fit properly. But also if there's any accident damage, you can make sure that your points are in the right position. Um, but finally, if you're replacing any big panels or any key components, then um, it's a really good idea to use these. Um, so let's do a quick walk around and show you the mounting points on this car. Okay, so here we can see that these red brackets here line up nicely with the subframe mounts. They went straight on. Um, a little bit further up, we've got the bumper mount bracket. Doesn't quite line up, a little tweak there needed before we replace this panel. Moving round to the other side, this bracket lines up well with the bumper mount, um, so no movement needed there. Moving back down, we've got these subframe mounts again. These bolted straight up, didn't need any movement at all. We've got the front shock mounts, they lined up nicely. Moving to the back, um, this area has been heavily bodged, so we couldn't put the bracket on at all here. The gearbox mounts line up nicely. Um, and then we've got the rear shock mounts. They lined up well. We didn't have to move the body around at all. Um, and then right at the back, we've got the engine mounts. Now they don't line up particularly well, um, probably because of an accident in the past. So going forward, let's have a look at some of the metal work that we've been carrying out.
Right, onto this rear torsion tube cover mount. As you can see, it's been heavily bodged. It's pretty gnarly welding on the go there. These bosses aren't welded in the right place. And in there, that's where your torsion bar goes. And about two inches back, there should be a lip in here. You can just see the bit of lip there. That's where your suspension bush should sit up against. And this is completely gone. So we're gonna cut this off. And then we're going to repair this tube, repair this lip, and then put a new panel back on here. And we're going to use this bracket to line everything up properly. See, it doesn't really line up at the moment. But yeah, then we've got all of this to contend with. Okay, yeah, so pretty happy with the progress so far. This near side bumper mount's looking really good. Nice and tidy on the inside too. Much better. Looking over at the offside bumper mount. No rust hole now, that was a huge rust hole in there. That's all repaired up nicely, lining up with the chassis jig well. So yeah, pleased with that. Moving up to the top of the flitch panel, this was like a tea bag. I didn't get any video footage of repairing this, but yeah, really pleased with how that's turned out. Moving down, this repair's gone pretty well and we've added a, a nice jacking point here. That'll make life easier in the future. Obviously you can't see the inner seal repair now. Now the outer seal's on, but it's gapped up well with the door. And um, the repair to the rear quarters come out quite well as well. Nicely gapped up with the door. Um, all the factory spot welds again looking really good where we joined this seal to the car and the door slam panel. 
bottom of the Targa hoops all repaired up and yeah no more holes up up there either really nice and solid and got rid of the mess that was around the torsion tube area that's all repaired nice and solid and lined up with a chassis jig now and we've added this heavy duty anti-roll bar bracket as well so yeah really pleased with how things have gone don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and i'll see you in the next video